Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to make an elliptical table or a mirror or a window or, or just something that's elliptical shape. Uh, and we know what size we want it to be to begin with. And so what we're going to do is take what we know from the ellipse and, and use that to help us set up that uh, object we're going to make. In this case, we're going to make a table. Uh, just a reminder of the values we're using. If we measure the distance from the center of the ellipse to one of the edges on either side, uh, we call that value the A. If we measure the distance from the center to the top or from the center to the bottom, should be the same. We're going to call that distance B. And then if we measure the distance from the center over to a focus point, remember there would be another one on the other side, uh, we call that distance C. And the way we can get that measurement is we take the square root of A squared minus B squared. Uh, now for the examples we're going to look at we'll just assume that it's wider than it is taller. Okay, it certainly could be the other way around. And if that's the case, the B value would be bigger. So you would just reverse these and do B squared minus A squared to make sure we don't get a negative under the square root. So let's suppose we want to build a big dining room table that's elliptical shape. So try to draw an ellipse here. And let's say we want our dining room table to be a total of eight feet wide and four feet tall. Okay, and so if we want to make this out of a big piece of wood, what we need to do is we need to find out, well, where do we put the focus points and then attach the string so we can draw the shape. So we need our values. Well, the A is from the center over to the edge. So that's going to be half of the total distance. So that's going to be 4. The B is going to be the distance from the center to the top or the bottom. And since the total distance is 4, then that distance is going to be 2. Okay, so our A is 4 and our B is 2. Then to calculate the C value, the C is going to be the square root of A squared minus B squared. So we just plug our A and B into this formula. Okay, so if we simplify that, we get 16 minus 4, which is 12. And since you generally don't measure in square roots, we're not going to say we'll measure it. What's the square root of 12 from here to here? We'll go ahead and put that in the calculator and convert it. And it comes out about 3.5 feet. Okay. So what that tells us is that our C value, the distance from the center to the focus point, needs to be about 3.5 feet. Also, we would measure it 3.5 feet the other way. So that tells me from focus to focus would be a total of 7 feet. So that means we need to place our focus point 7 feet apart on the wood. And then if you remember, in order to draw the ellipse, the length of string that we tie and connect from here to here needs to be the same as the total width of the ellipse. So in this case, it would need to be 8 feet wide. So we would place our focus points seven feet apart and tie some string where we've got eight feet of string to use. Then we can stretch it, draw our ellipse shape, and cut out our table.